So I was driving myself crazy yesterday trying to get these two curves the same on both sides of my brooch handle. And then last night in desperation, I redrew the design with straight lines and taped it up on here to make my life easier. So that's the route we're gonna go with this handle. All right, we did one tempering cycle in the oven at around 420 degrees, which is what I normally do on a knife. But then to make this even more flexible, I put a spring temper with the torch in the shaft and then got just a little bit of straw towards the teeth. So we have a nice flexible shaft, but with a very sharp, hard set of teeth on this brooch. The next step we're gonna do before putting the handles on is to take a little bit into this shaft. I want the teeth to be ever so slightly wider than the shaft so that when you're in the handle you have a little wiggle room with the shaft and you don't get stuck uh, when you're trying to broach. I got that tip after watching some videos from Nick Wheeler and Kyle Royer. They have their brooches with a little bit more width in the teeth. So that's what we're gonna do on this. We're gonna give it, uh, we're gonna take down the sides of the shaft just a little bit and then probably round over to corners on the slack belt so that nothing gets stuck when you're trying to broach your handles.
Alrighty guys, so my microphone cut out for the next one or two minutes of footage here. So this gives me an opportunity to explain my handle design. I will be attempting a Coke bottle type design on this handle. And I've never done one of those before. And I'd like to do more of them in the future on hidden tang knives or thicker scaled full tang knives. So I figured that this brooch would be a good training ground for me to get an idea of how a palm swell should feel and how to grind in a Coke bottle handle. To do this, I use my scribe that I built the other day to get a nice height line. And then I drew some lines where I want my palm swell to be. Using the two inch wheel on my belt sander, I was able to get the rear side of the handle ground in and using the flat platen, I was able to get the angles on the front of the handle. I actually really enjoyed grinding this handle on my two inch contact wheel and it was fairly effortless to get the swell in the handle and also to round over the corners of the handle nice and smoothly. I thought that this was going to be really difficult to get the corners uh, rounded and smooth and not look terrible. And in reality, the wheel did a darn good job of smoothing everything over, as you see me doing right here. I don't think that this was the best shaped Coke bottle handle ever. However, it was actually a better result than I expected for my first try. And for a tool like this brooch, it is more than adequate as a handle. So yeah, y'all are going to see me doing more of these in the future, and I look forward to trying to get better at making this style of handle. With that, after this clip, the audio will come back, and I hope y'all enjoy the rest of the build. Thank <laughs> you. 